Since the news dropped that Kim Kardashian West and Kanye West are on the verge of an official split, fans have been scrambling to figure out why, when, and just what exactly is going on with Kimye. Page Six first broke the news, reporting that, quote, divorce is imminent. A source told the tabloid that Kardashian had already hired divorce lawyer Laura Wassner, and the couple was in settlement talks over their $40 million home, which they spent $20 million renovating. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star and the rapper reportedly are, quote, working on their marriage by going to couples therapy, according to E! News. The E! Report disputes rumors of an imminent divorce, claiming that Kardashian has not settled on officially divorcing her husband for the sake of their four young children. A source told E! News, "...it's not about the marriage anymore. She'll always care for Kanye, but it's over between them. Kim is only focused on what's best for the kids. It's a tough decision for her, and she's figuring it out." Reports of a divorce first surfaced in the summer of 2020, after Kanye West went on a public Twitter rant where he claimed he had previously tried to get a divorce from Kardashian. Sources tell Page Six, "...the Skims owner felt that, due to West bipolar disorder, it wasn't the right time to file for divorce, but she did drop some hints that the marriage was over." Kim Kardashian and Kanye West married in 2014 in a private ceremony overlooking Florence, Italy, and the public quickly dubbed the couple Kimye. If what Page Six reports as an imminent divorce proves untrue, the couple is set to celebrate their seventh anniversary in May 2021. Fans took notice of hints that the famous couple was on the rocks when Kardashian posted holiday photos with her four children, along with her brother Rob Kardashian's daughter Dream, while West was notably absent. The rapper had previously been left out of most of the photos of Kim's private island 40th birthday just a few months prior, and wasn't seen on the Kardashian family winter vacation to Lake Tahoe. The bigger clue, however, might be the piece of jewelry also absent from photos. Kim had appeared to remove her wedding band and diamond ring in the Kardashian Christmas photos, which she shared on Instagram as well. Given how calculated the Keeping Up with the Kardashian star typically is when she and her family release big news to the press, fans are wondering if the absent ring was a signal that her marriage really is over. Rumors have swirled that the Kardashian family was at odds with Kanye West, amid reports he and Kim Kardashian West are in settlement talks prior to filing for divorce. When breaking the story, Page Six reported that West, quote, "...is completely over the entire family." The Kardashian family is notorious for sticking up for each other through family drama. Kim and Kourtney stood by Khloe Kardashian's side. As news broke, her ex-boyfriend Tristan Thompson cheated on a then-pregnant Khloe with Kylie Jenner's best friend Jordan Woods. The Kardashian sisters also stood beside Kim through two previous divorces, including her highly scrutinized separation from Chris Humphreys after 72 days of marriage. This time around, E! News cleared up rumors that the family is on bad terms with Kanye West. A source told the outlet, "...there is no drama or contentious relationship at all between Kanye and the extended family," which was falsely reported. The source added that West, quote, "...loves his extended family. They are super close." One thing is for sure, the Kardashian family is as tight as ever in supporting their sister in whatever she decides to do about her third marriage. A source told E!, Kim's family is extremely supportive and will be there for her with whatever she needs. The source reported that Kourtney Kardashian has even helped out watching the West's four children, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm from time to time. Kim Kardashian West has gone through two previous divorces, first with music producer Damon Thomas, then with NBA player Chris Humphreys. Kardashian first married in 2000 at the young age of 20. The marriage to Thomas, who is 11 years her senior, lasted four years. The reality star later admitted on Keeping Up with the Kardashians that she was high on ecstasy when she got married, according to Screen Rant. Her more public divorce came in 2011, after 72 days of marriage to NBA player Chris Humphreys. The marriage and divorce both were publicly scrutinized, with many claiming the entire relationship was a mere publicity stunt for the reality show. Kardashian denied that her marriage was fake, stating she was truly in love with Humphreys. Now on the brink of a third divorce, it is hard not for fans to notice the parallels between Kardashian and her quote, idol, Elizabeth Taylor, who was married eight times. Maybe you're meant to fall in love ten times like Elizabeth Taylor. That's what I want. The reality star even joked to Taylor in 2011 during an interview for Harper's Bazaar, "'I'm six husbands and some big jewels behind. What should I do?' Taylor simply replied that she didn't plan to do that and said, "'I have been supremely lucky in my life that I have known great love. Hopefully Kim Kardashian feels the same way.'" Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.